Today we will look at how to create the Slither game. And there are two sprites in this game, the snake and the apple. So let's delete the cat. We are going to draw the snake. We're going to draw a circle for the head of the snake. So let's use green color. And we don't want any outline. Just draw one circle. Before we add the eyes, let's duplicate this for the body of the snake. Now go back to the first costume. Change the name to head. Second costume, the name will be body. Now go back to head. We are going to draw the eyes and the tongue for the snake. Let's make it bigger. Now we're going to draw the eyes. It's still circle, no fill. Copy paste. So the two eyes are of the same size. Next, we're going to draw the eyeballs, which is still circle. But this time, no outline. Fill color is black. Draw one here and one here. Next, we're going to draw the tongue. We can use the paint. Change fill color to red color. You just draw like this. You know that the tongue of the snake is always split. Now, we're going to add the second sprite which is the apple. I'm going to have more than one apple in the game. To make it more interesting, I want to have different colors of apple. So it goes to costume, duplicate this. Duplicate again, do the second costume. Now I want to change the red color to green color. Once you select, you can see everything is selected. So first we are going to ungroup this. Only choose the red color, change it to green. Go to the last costume. Similarly, ungroup. Only choose the red color, change it to yellow. Now choose the snake, change costume to the first costume. So we change this to snake. Now let's make the apple smaller, maybe 30. Okay, so we have the apple, we have the snake. We can start coding. Choose the snake, go to code. Snake is a bit big, let's change its size to 50. The snake will follow our mouse. When green flag clicked, it will forever point towards our mouse pointer. So when we start, you can see it will follow the mouse, but it also needs to move. So we will give snake a speed. Variables, make a variable speed for this sprite only. If you have learned this in mathematics, you will know the speed on the X and Y dimension. So we will do change X by change Y by X will be speed times cosine of 90 minus direction. So you can go to motion. And down below, the last one is the direction of the sprite. So put it under cosine, put it in the multiplication. Okay, this will be the change on the x dimension. Duplicate this, change cosine to sine. That will be the change on the y dimension. So let's put it here, put it here, put it here, put it here. Okay, now our speed is zero, so the snake won't move. Let's set a speed. I'm going to set speed to try five. Now let's try. You can see the snake is moving following the mouse. Now we need to create a body for the snake. Let's create a variable called length. It's the length of the body for this sprite only. And when we start, we can set length to 10. So we need 10 clones of the snake. If we just create 10 clones, we need to make sure that all these 10 clones are following the head nicely. A easier way to do is to keep on creating the clones, but we will delete all the old clones, only keep the last 10. So we can do when green flag clicked, I will forever create a clone of myself. And when I start as a clone, I'll wait for this number of times. After that, I will delete myself. When I start as a clone, I also make sure that I'm using the body costume. So go to looks, switch costume to body. And when we start the game, we must make sure that we use the costume for the head. Okay, now let's try. You can see that it's a body following the snake. You may wonder that if this repeat, there's nothing inside. Can we delete it? If we remove the repeat, put it here. That means we are going to delete the clone right after it is created. You won't be able to see the body. We can only see the head. So it's very important to put the repeat back. When we start the game, we can make sure the snake always start from zero, zero. And we want to add a score to keep track how many apples the snake has eaten. Go to variable score for all sprites. When we start the game, we will set score to zero. I don't want to display the speed and the length. Let's uncheck this. Okay, now we can go and look at the apple. We want to have a random number of apples. So make a variable, apple count. When green flag clicked, set apple count to pick a random number from 10 to 20. We want all the apples to go to random places. So I'll go to x value is to pick a random number from minus 200 to 200. Y value, we can pick a random number from minus 150 to 150 because we don't want the apples to be too close to the edge. After that, we're going to create the clones. So I'll repeat apple count number of times. I'm going to create a clone of myself. After that, the original apple, we are going to hide it because once all the clones 
are eaten, we can still use the original apple to create more clones. So this original apple, I'll make it go to 500, 300, 300, and I'll hide it. So when the game starts, we must show it. When I start as a clone, I'm going to pick a random costume. I'm going to show myself. We want some apples to be slightly bigger, some slightly smaller. So I'm going to change size by pick a random number from minus five to five. I'm going to go to a random location, so which is this line. We can duplicate this line and put one copy here. If I touch the snake, I will be eaten. If I change snake, I'll be eaten. So I'll increase the score by one. I will decrease the apple count by one. After that, I need to delete myself. At this part, I can't just do it once. I need to keep on checking. We'll add a forever loop here. As the game goes on, once the snake eats all the clones of the apples, we need to create more apples. Keep checking. If apple count equal to zero that means all the clones are eaten we will get another random number for the apple count and we will create the clones we don't want the apple count so let's hide the apple count let's try the game Here you can see there are random number of apples and we're going to keep on eating eating until i finish eating all these more apples will be created so you can keep on eating and look at the score it just keep on increasing